And there is a wolf. Just as we are about to return to our safe house. We didn't make it to our safe house. Just a few steps short, but those steps lead right into a wolf. We're now down to a mere 27% health and easy prey. What happens next? Something that is not welcome and just means we're going to have to go and go around this way. Uh, what's going to happen here? I'm not gonna have to go into this hut here. The store. Hello people and welcome back to the long dark. Now we find ourselves in the rural crossroads store once again and well we didn't bring our crowbar so I guess we're not gonna be able to check those lockers. Oh well there's probably nothing in there anyway. The thing though is that we are still freezing or almost freezing and at the same time we do want to not be losing time if we can possibly avoid it so i think what i'm going to do is sneak out of this store and go to the hut next door because i think there might at least be some wood box or some metal thing or something i can harvest so at least do something productive with the time and uh see if i can sneak past that wolf i uh, definitely cannot survive a wolf attack here oh i should have probably been crouching too oh. Oh, oh, there he is, there he is. Oh. Well, this is um, <laughs> quite a situation. I think if I go and break down a box or two here, I should be able to actually go and... Yeah, um, this one won't need a hatchet though, and I'll get some firewood too while I'm there. Uh, some hypothermia risk taken care of. And it's getting late at night. Well, not that late, but later. Well, we have passed a little bit of time here, so I think we might go and uh, try to circumvent that wolf. We, we're going to have to get back to the house, and then while we're there, we can also maybe break down some cloth or something. I don't know. Actually, while I'm here, I might as well go and uh, break down a couple more boxes, because that's really not much time to be passed anyway. It's a little bit more time towards midnight. And uh, let's see if we can get out of here and... <laughs> get past that wolf somehow. Is he still nearby? It's a nice uh, nice little night with moonlight. Screenshot! Where's that wolf? Yeah. I think the main issue is that I'm carrying all this meat. Why can I not get across this wall? Here we go. Yeah, how much... I have a lot of scent on me that is definitely not helping. All this meat and the rabbit, which... Yeah, I could have actually harvested that, but I don't think I would have actually changed my scent situation. You know what, I think I'm going to have to just go for it and brave the wolf situation. Um, I will try to sneak around this way. I don't think it'll save me because this detection range is pretty high. But... Look, if he does come and there's no other way, I'm just going to start a fire. I just can't afford to waste any more time. I'm already so tired that I will not be able to run, but too bad. I've got fire. Fire works. That noise just scared me just then. For a moment there, I thought it was a a wolf, but now it's just some bird. Some noisy thing making noise. Okay, I'm going to crouch here. This is going to make me incredibly slow, isn't it? Yes. But at least I will definitely lower the chances that I will be detected. And then I'll be able to walk over to that. Yeah, I can get into the house now, I think. I don't see a wolf. Still see no wolf. Don't hear one, don't see one. Okay, do we have enough food now to survive? I think we definitely do here with all those pieces of rabbit. 
Um, how much are we going to need? 248. I think I can go and uh, put a couple of these out. Drop this. Drop this. And this. Then I'll have... What's that? 84, 240, 750. Yeah, now I have about 800 calories. That will be enough. To go and have a nice long sleep. Perfect. Let's get in here. And of course it is dark. And what? That gut is still 82%, 79. <laughs> My God, I would have thought after all these days out there. Well, it felt like more time, but yeah. Well, I guess by the time I wake up in the morning tomorrow, uh, most of these things will probably be cured or pretty, pretty close. So let's go and uh, try to get to bed and have a sleep. And then uh, we'll at least be able to recover some condition because we have lost a lot. Uh, we are almost dead here. So uh, let's go and get some sleep. All that said, we're, well, we're still losing condition. I think uh, we're also going to go and try to um, break down some curtains or towels or whatever it may be before we go to sleep because we still have a little bit of time left here until midnight, a couple of hours. So let's go and uh, try to make the best of them. On that note, I might as well be harvesting that rabbit because that was on the agenda anyway, wasn't it? And as you can see, I am still losing condition. I am down to, well, about 20% now. It's not great, but uh, what can you do? Drop the gut and rabbit pelt and let's try to go to bed. Okay, we did find a bed and uh, now we can go and uh, drink a little more water, uh, eat this food and then finally get some rest. I really should have cooked up some tea as well while I was at the Pensive Pond fishing hut. Unfortunately, I didn't think of that. So uh, there's some health that we won't be recovering. At least not today. And as you can see, we are now pretty much at midnight. 757 calories. 750. <laughs> Perfect timing. And now we are back with a blizzard blowing outside. Just what we need. And our health is now barely back to 50%. It's not great. Oh well, let's see where we go from here. God. Eat. Oh, stop complaining. You will survive. We'll rip up another curtain here. See if we get lucky again with the blizzard timing. I suspect probably not, because you rarely get lucky in this game, especially in interloper mode. I am not holding my breath. Ah, oh, let's rip up all these curtains. One day... We're going to need them all anyway. See any more curtains anywhere? You do let me know. Ah, there are more curtains here. Curtains, towels. Yeah, let's rip them all up. Hmm, okay, well, let's check out how we're going with all the curing and all the stuff that I put down here. Fresh guard. Yeah, well, that was from the rabbit we caught yesterday. That's unfortunately not very well cured yet. However, these... Yeah, 94, 91. Ah. Uh -huh. Ah, the birch saplings are cured. That's good. Gonna pick those up and then I'll just go through all these things and see which ones to pick up. And uh, get myself prepared for the run home. We still got a quite a few uh, sticks here too. So we'll be able to take some of those with us for whatever weight we have left. And then we can just go and try to get uh, back to Signal Hill as quickly as possible. For the time being though, let me just go and sort all this out. So we have now sorted out um, the things that are here, ready to be taken away soon. 94%, 92, 92, as you can see, they are all very close to cured. Not as close as I wanted them to be by the time I get back here. The timing was not perfect, but it was pretty close. And I think it might actually end up being perfect if this blizzard keeps blowing away that it has been. So uh, having done pretty much everything else I can do in this house in terms of harvesting and all that, I think I'm just going to do some clothing repairs to go and pass some time that way. And of course, also slightly increase my uh, tailoring skills. So certainly these wool socks and then maybe uh, get those sports socks in a better shape as well. And uh, we'll just see what we'll do. And I'll uh, just sort of fast forward through this.
Okay, it sounds like the blizzard has finally gone and there even seems to be quite a bit of sunlight out there. Looking beautiful. Now, I don't really want to be hanging around here waiting for this last little bit of curing time. I think I might have to just go and uh, bite the bullet, grab whatever I can, grab everything and start moving uh, back towards Signal Hill. Either directly or I might do the de uh, detour through the... Um, of the Pleasant Valley Farm Outbuildings barn. As the barn has a fire barrel inside as well, it's got a place that you can sleep without a bedroll, and it also has a workbench. And that's something that we're going to need to start turning these guts and hides and things into clothing. So uh, let's go and pick it all up and then fill up the rest with sticks and whatever else is left here and pretty much leave anything we don't need behind. Okay, as you um, s probably saw there, I just went and took pretty much everything I had left, put the remainder back into the cupboard. Uh, the only thing left there now is 30-something uh, sticks. Yeah, my weight is going to be full. At the same time, I have quite a bit of firewood and all that stuff too. And I'm going to take all this too. And now I actually have sprain risk. That's annoying. Yeah, the new sprain risk system. Annoying. As it is. Oh, got quite a bit of weight again here. Total of 31.5. Wow. A couple of issues that we have to deal with here. One of them is, you know, besides being overweight, we also are running very quickly out of water. And that's an issue. We have less than half a liter of water left and we need to get some because if we don't, that's going to be a big problem. Not as big as freezing, but definitely a problem. Yeah, I think it's time to go and move on to the farmstead and uh, or the, the outbuildings and then we'll see from there maybe we can do some crafting there and while we're there also do some uh, cooking boiling water And we are once again freezing and I am trying to run as fast as I can towards Pleasant Valley Farm Outbuildings barn. We'll make it and hopefully we'll still have at least 40% health left by the time we get there. And I'm hearing wolves howling everywhere. There are at least two of them nearby here. Fingers crossed that I'll be able to bypass them somehow and still get into the shed without having to waste a, w a match to make a fire and scare them away. And well, there goes that for an idea, doesn't it? Bloody hell. All right then, let's do it, bastard. Well, he kind of caught me by surprise, so I'm just going to have to burn a match here and make this fire. Alright, he's scared off. And then I'll be able to grab a torch and, if necessary, light another fire with that without wasting another match. 57 sticks. It's a lot of sticks. I could actually be cooking up some water right here if I wanted to, but it's not a priority. I'd rather get into the shed because, who knows, you know, my water uh, fire might get blown out or something like that and I wouldn't want that. He's coming this way again. I'm, I definitely have that scent and that doesn't help my situation. But yeah, I'm gonna go and start running here. There's another wolf right there. That's just great. These wolves are here. definitely on the case here. And I'm not sure why I can't see how much time there's left on my torch. I don't know what happened there. Somehow that has changed. But anyway, yeah, there's no way any of these wolves are going to get me now. Bye-bye, see you later. <laughs> okay, now that we are here, we can go and first thing, go and use the fire barrel and start a fire with the torch, of course. Because we got a ton of sticks and this is what we got them for. We don't need any tinder since we already have 
by starting skill three and then we'll be able to bottle up some water and also cook up some Move. herbal tea not forget that part this time we're going to need that to get our health back to uh acceptable levels so now i can actually go and uh, turn this oh this torch is actually dead now all right fine good just in time <laughs> sticks let's let's load them up with the sticks here yeah that should give us a bit of water and unfortunately i only got recycled cans which means that yeah it is not that much i can bottle at any given time doesn't help with me wanting to do some crafting here um i'm just gonna have to go and run back up and down those stairs but at least this fire barrel has two cooking slots so that helps i might as well take the burnout torch i can still break that down and get a couple of sticks out of another reason why i wanted to come back here is uh, actually the fact that when i uh in the previous episode when we were here i uh overlooked this the emergency stim and i only noticed that when i was editing the video afterwards and uh, i was already at rural crossroads at the time so it was a little too Nobody late for that. this anymore but here it is the emergency stim emergency steroid injection will provide a short burst of energy then you'll collapse from exhaustion use as a last resort last resort indeed you should not use these unless you absolutely have to because yeah you will you after the initial boost you will go down to absolute maximum fatigue you will have no energy left so all that said it can be a real lifesaver in certain emergency situations and it's definitely something worth doing i don't even know why i came back down here i guess i might as well go and hold this water ah damn it all right hypothermia risk healed excellent All right, that's all the green stuff. And now we should be able to start making ourselves a rabbit hat. It'll be something very useful. I think I can uh, at least do half an hour here on the rabbit hat. So let's have a look. Uh, rabbit skin mitts, actually. That'll, that'll be the one to go for for the time being. So let's go and do that. We have to do this a half hour at a time because we've only got these little cans and they can only boil a limited amount of water it does not take very long to boil and if you don't have ah, three minutes left good timing and if you don't take the water out in time it'll simply evaporate away not only that but it'll also kill the cans the cans will lose condition if they are boiled dry well at least the fire is giving us light throughout the entire barn here upstairs so that's good and at least i don't have to go and try guessing when i'm where i'm going while we're going up these stairs that's always a good thing all right three and a half hours left on the rabbit skin mitts and it appears that the light up here is actually sufficient from the fire barrel to keep crafting or like way into the night and reach us all the way up there i did not know that i learned something new today and that's something i don't think i've learned really anything new in the long dark for a couple of years but there's something here we get this rabbit mitts crafted tonight I should probably also have a drink in the time being because I will start getting thirsty. Oh, yes, I was <laughs> almost uh, dehydrated there. Getting close. That's our health now. Again, down to like 25%. Oh, that's just great, isn't it? Back up and down, up and down, up and down. Yeah, that's 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 what happens when you don't take your saucepans with you. I wonder if I can drop any of this gear. And just rely on these bloody recycled cans to try to go and tidy over for your water cooking needs and they just don't have a lot of capacity we are nicely tired too we're definitely getting there still two hours remaining on this i am i am amazed <laughs> what happened too tired no that can't be it the fire god how did that happen oh did i i think i did more than oh no and i did not burn all any herbal tea again talk about making mistakes i think i must have just hit like two hours there or something stupid like that now i can't see anything and i don't know where the hell i'm going and i gotta waste another match i guess at least i got a bunch of crafting done what is the time pretty much just midnight 
thought I had more time left on that thing. I guess I didn't. <sighs> I would have boiled dry those cans too, wouldn't I? Yeah, I'm just gonna go and have to go and buy the bullet and make another fire here. So annoying. That is so annoying. Talk about wasting matches. Not good. Not good at all. Oh well. Everybody makes mistakes. Especially me. Yeah. Boiled out, recycled can, great stuff. Love it. Damaged. Wasted a liter of water. Oh, two hours of fire here. I don't know why that's not lit up there anymore. Is the fire not bright enough or what is the issue? Does it have to be a certain temperature? Like, the barn was pretty lit up before. I am confused. Gotta say, why, why is it not bright like it was before? Is this a different kind of fire? That, 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 this, this can't be, right? All right? Well, let's see if at least we can craft. Ah, oh, need 0 0.33 hours left. Well then, let's do that. Guess I didn't have to put the... No? Seems like we can still craft. Yay! And we have crafted our rabbit skin mitts and that is great we now no longer have to be making do with those horrible fleece mittens and that is fantastic i'll give us an extra two and a half degrees c allowing us to just keep from freezing just a little bit longer than usual so now before i forget again i am of course going to make myself some of this herbal tea starting with the less awesome condition box and then i'll also be taking all those clothes off because yeah because because i should have done it bloody ages ago already anyway ah did i drop them all right just take it off take it off take it all off how do i only have one herbal tea i did, I, I think i just took that off just one minute before it was ready and i just completely wasted it that is very disappointing. Well, I might as well go and harvest this torch, at least it'll stick that way. Pass some time required to cook that tea. Oh, that is terribly annoying. I'm not happy about that, I can tell you that much. How, how could I possibly be wasting a herbal tea? So bad. Well, we got a few herbal teas now. And then I will go outside probably and uh, put down what food I have here that I don't want to be perishing. Make sure I crouch this time. In case there's a wolf. Probably will be one or two or more. Okay. What was that? That was a weird noise. Well, I don't hear a wolf. Let's quickly put his food down. And uh, I think the tomato soup also best, but this sardines are actually best if stored inside and the crackers don't deteriorate at all, so I can take those things with me. Quickly jump back inside. Uncrouch and um, we, yeah, we have finally cured the deer hide and that means that as soon as we get up in the morning, we're going to be able to start crafting the deer hide gear as well. Or well, actually, no, we need more deer hides for that, but they, they are at uh, Signal Hill. We finally are definitely where we want it to be at roughly the one o'clock position, meaning that it's perfect timing to go and have that well-deserved sleep. And the fire's been timed well too. There's only 20 minutes left on it. We can finally have that sleep and then watch everything else here finish curing in the morning which means that it'll be so much less smell to worry about uh, carrying around with us when we finally make it back to signal hill where we will then also be able to finish crafting anything that we will not be able to craft here so let's get in here and do the sleepy thing got our clothes off we can go and uh, drink a hot herbal tea before it gets cold that'll help us recover more condition with extra calories and that's once again all our meat gone and then we will sleep and then the next morning we will know or we will try to figure out what we're gonna do with the next day so there is the bed roll and we can go and sleep 10 hours okay it looks like we have survived the night and our condition now has recovered Man, to well about 55 percent which well i guess we could say that we have kind of defied death until now who knows what will happen next we're going to now have to make the rather perilous journey to signal hill and get back there that said though we've got all these things cured and like there's a cured deer hide and yeah cured gut cured gut cured gut uh, a couple of saplings while well, they don't smell cured or not doesn't matter we still have a rabbit pelt and an uncured gut though so it'll add a little bit of smell and a little bit of interest from the wolves 
all that notwithstanding. We're just gonna go and see where we go from here. I will uh, think about it and then I guess you'll have to guess what am I going to do next. Find out in the next episode by hitting subscribe and the notification bell. If you like this, please leave a like and comment below. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you then. Bye bye.